Nowadays, passive income is regarded as one of the easy ways to make extra money. This is often not true, because passive income streams require a lot of planning and nurturing in the beginning. And then after some years of patience and nurturing, they bring you consistent flow of money with a little or no effort from you. Passive income can help you to make extra money and accelerate your income in ways never thought possible. Today, I am going to share with you 10 passive income ideas that you can easily invest in in 2020. 1. Dividend Stocks Dividend stocks are companies that pay out regular dividends. They are usually well-established companies with a track record of distributing earnings back to shareholders. Investing in dividend-paying stocks is a great way to build long-term wealth. Essentially, for every share of a dividend stock you own, you are being paid a portion of the company's earnings. For example, let's say a company pays an annual dividend of $20 per share. Most companies usually pay dividends four times a year, meaning at the end of every three months, the company will pay you $5 for each share you own. This may not seem profitable, but when you manage to buy thousands of shares and use those dividends to buy more stock, you can make a lot of money over the years. The key in investing in dividend stocks is to invest those dividends. 2. Rental Properties A rental property is a great way of additional income. The internet has made investing in rental properties easier than ever before. There are a lot of ways you can invest in rental properties, depending on what your goals and interests are. You can choose to be a limited partner in large residential or commercial properties. Or you can choose to buy homes and be a landlord online. You can also choose to invest in farmland development because it's slow, steady, and pays consistent rent. And it's always in high demand because everyone needs to eat. Plus, compared to other types of real estate, it's much more volatile. Buying a rental property is a huge financial decision. What you want is a property that will help you generate sufficient income in the years ahead with minimal risk. A rental property is a residential or commercial property that is leased or rented to a tenant over a set period of time. There are short-term rentals like vacation hotels and there are long-term ones that are usually between one to three year lease. Residential rental properties are often much more to afford because they are less expensive and less money is required upfront for their financing. Three, invest in someone's business. Investing in someone's business and becoming a silent partner is a great source of passive income that does not require any stress or effort, but it can be very risky. But we all know that with risk comes the potential for high benefits or returns. For example, in just a few years, companies like Facebook, Uber, Snapchat were struggling looking for private investors to invest in their companies. Now the companies are worth billions of dollars. But you have to bear in mind that you as an investor will only reap that benefit if the company goes public via an IPO or when they get acquired by another company. You can invest in someone's business either by a loan or as an equity where you exchange money for ownership or profits. The business can use this money for a variety of actions like capital expenditures needed for expansions, cash for running daily operations, or hiring new employees. In most cases, the percentage of the business that you receive as an investor is proportional to the total capital that you provide. Let's assume you invested $100,000 into a business, while other investors invested a total of $900,000. Then you might expect 10% of any profits or losses because you provided one-tenth of the equity. If expenses run higher than sales, part of the losses get assigned to investors. Or if the company is struggling or out of business, they can declare bankruptcy and you are likely to lose all your money. On the other hand, when you make a debt investment in a business, you will earn it money in exchange for the promise of interest income and eventual repayment of the principal. Debt capital can be provided either in the form of direct loans or the purchase of bonds issued by the business. The biggest advantage of debt is that if the company goes bust, the debt has priority over the equity investors. So generally, debt is considered safer than equity. 4. Invest in high yield savings account. This is a very safe way of creating a passive income. If you don't want to stress out yourself or worry too much about investing your money, then the best way is to invest in a high yield savings account or money market fund. A high yield saving account is a type of savings account that typically pays 20 to 25 times the national average of a standard savings account. A high yield savings account should make up only a part of your overall financial portfolio. So you should consider how to best use the account to complement your other savings and investment strategies. Your high yield savings account may serve as an emergency fund or you may use it to save up for a large purchase such as a car or house. 
Others open a high yield savings account simply to house surplus cash that they may sweep out of their checking account. But before opening a high yield account, you may want to consider the following. 1. Interest rate. That is how much interest does the account currently pay. 2. Required initial deposit. That is how much money is required to open the account. 3. Minimum balance required. That is how much money are you required to keep in the account going forward. 4. Fees. That is, does the bank or credit union charge any fees on their account? If so, what are the ways you can avoid it? 5. Assessing your money. What additional options, if any, are available for withdrawing funds? Can you withdraw funds from savings using an ATM card? The fifth income strategy is to invest in CD ladders. This involves buying certificate of deposit from banks in certain increments, so that you can earn a higher return on your money. Certificate of deposits are offered by banks, but they mostly yield low returns because they are low-risk investments. A CD ladder is a strategy in which an investor divides a sum of money into equal amounts and invests them in certificates of deposit with different maturity dates. A CD ladder strategy is followed by investors who value the safety of their principal and income. It also provides you with steady cash flow as the series will mature at different times. Let's look at how to build a CD ladder step by step. 1. Let's say you have 40,000 to invest and you want to build a 4-year CD ladder. The first step is to open separate CDs. Instead of putting all the money in one CD, you put $10,000 in each of 4 CDs that will mature in 1-4 to four years. You may want to find banks with the best rates on CDs before investing the funds. So basically what you start with is $10,000 in a 1-year CD, $10,000 in a 2-year CD, $10,000 in a 3-year CD, $10,000 in a 4-year CD. The second step is to renew and convert each CD at maturity. As each CD matures, you renew it as a 4-year CD. By doing so, after 4 years, you will have 4-year CD, but only one of those CDs will mature annually. If you have opened all your CDs in January 2020, setting up the ladder will look like January 2021, renew the 1-year CD into a 4-year CD. On January 2022, you renew the 2nd year CD into a 4-year CD. On January 2023, you renew the 3rd year CD into a 4-year CD. On January 2024, you renew the 4th year CD into a 4-year CD. This will allow you to leverage the higher interest rates on the longer term. 6. Selling Stock Photos This involves the selling of photos to stock photo websites. These photos are then bought by websites, blogs, and magazines. If you are a photographer or you enjoy snapping pictures, you can submit your photos to stock photo sites and receive a small commission whenever someone purchases one of them. But you have to bear in mind that selling stock photos might give you a nice supplemental income, but it's not going to make you a lot of money. Because nowadays, there is oversupply of these photos and images to stock photo websites. Best stock photo websites to sell stock photos include Alami, Portolia, Adobe Stock, Yeti Images, iStock Photo, Shutterstock, Rimstein, ETC. 7. Licensing your music. This is a great way of making passive income, especially for musicians and composers. And it works just like stock photos. You can create and license your music so that you can earn some money whenever someone chooses to use it. Music is often licensed for commercials, YouTube videos, films, TV, and video games. Some of the best platforms to license your music include Music Vine, Atlist, Music Bed, Marmoset, Soundstrip, and Epidemic Sound. 8. Create an app. I'm pretty sure your smartphone is full of apps you have downloaded from App Store or Play Store. Creating an app is a great idea for making passive income. If you have an amazing idea for an app, you could consider hiring a professional programmer to create your app for you. You can then sell the app to App Store for a residual income. Investing in apps is one of the most profitable and less risky ways of investing your money. In fact, many multi-billionaires like Mark Zuckerberg, founder of Facebook, and even Spiegel, founder of Snapchat, became super rich by creating social media apps. Mobile applications are also used by business owners to make improvements to their businesses and to increase traffic or profit. 9. Online course or guide You can also make passive income by creating an online course based on your passion. You can create and sell lessons online varying from financial courses, makeup courses, fitness courses, educational courses, or music courses. You can make online courses in form of video lessons, small ebooks, and audio files. 
And if writing articles or creating videos isn't your thing, and you want to make money online, then you can try creating an online guide by providing specific information in a guide-like format. You can also create several packages at different price points, so you can receive the largest possible volume of orders. Creating a course or guide is a great option if you are highly knowledgeable in a specific subject or skill. 10. Affiliate Marketing This is the practice of partnering with a company, becoming the affiliate to receive a commission on a product. This is a great way to make passive income for people with online platforms such as websites, YouTube channels, or Instagram pages. But making passive income through affiliate marketing usually takes time because you need to have an established and reputable website or channel. You may want to check out affiliate marketing programs before deciding to invest in affiliate marketing. 11. Network Marketing This is also known as multi-level marketing. This is a form of passive income that is currently on the rise. You can earn passive income through network marketing by building a team underneath you, which is often referred to as a downline. Once you have a large team, you can earn commissions from their sales without doing much work. 12. Peer-to-peer -peer lending This is one of the most easy and less risky ways of making passive income. You can decide to lend money to family, friends, or other individuals. They then pay you back with interest. For example, you can decide to lend $50,000 to a friend or relative. And after a certain period of time, which is usually by end, and after that period, he pays you back with $60,000. That is with additional $10,000 as an interest. There are several companies that underwrite peer-to-peer -peer lending. Some like Lending Club facilitate personal loans, while others like Worthy facilitate business loans. So here you are. 12 new passive income ideas you can start in 2020. Which of these passive income ideas will you firstly try? Let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to press the like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel. With that said, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.